Let's check in uh, with meteorologist Grant Gilmore. He's in the Hyundai next weather series. So Grant, it's still hot out there. Better than being in the city, though. Look, I'll, I'll take the shore any day on a day like today, right? You know, I mean, down there is one of those days you set the, the beach chair right up there in the surf and just let that cool 65 degree water wash over your toes. That'll keep you cool. Unfortunately, we all can't be down there and uh, we're, we're dealing with the heat. And, and I will say this, guys, pay attention to your body over the next few days because Heat is the number one weather related killer over all other weather hazards. Believe it or not, it is kind of a silent killer. It sneaks up on you. It's a cumulative effect where you're looking at day upon day of heat stressing your body. You're not able to cool down and recharge overnight, and, and some people have it have it more difficult than others. So over the last 10 years, we average the United States averages 177 heat related fatalities. So you got to pay attention to your body, pay attention to family and friends. This heat alert and this next weather alert is going to be with us through Wednesday because of these near record temperatures. They're exceeding 100 degrees potentially. And again, I talk about it's a, it's a cumulative effect, how it feels like above 100 degrees. Even through the overnight hours, it's going to feel very, very warm. Heat illness is going to be a lot easier to take over your body. Do not leave anybody. I wouldn't leave anything in the car with temperatures as hot as it is already. Temperature in Philly already at 95 degrees. Our record is 98 degrees. Trenton's record is 97. We're close to it. AC, this is the airport, mind you, not right there on the water. AC's record today is 98 degrees. We have hit 97 so far. It's only noon, so you get the picture. We are hot and it's going to stay hot as we head through the next few days. Let me pull up some current temperatures here. All right, we talked about the shore. AC Atlantic City temperatures right around 90 degrees. Currently, there's a little bit of relief along the water, but you head inland. Millville is in the mid 90s, 96 right now in Millville. Philadelphia is at 95 degrees. Lehigh Valley guys were in the mid 90s as well. Nobody unless you're right in the water is going to escape this heat today, tomorrow, even into Wednesday, though the heat begins to relax, it's still going to be pretty stifling out there. Feels like temperatures, though, with those temperatures in the mid 90s. Feels like 104 in Philly. Feels like 108 degrees right now in Wilmington. Forecast high this afternoon. We're going for triple digits. 100 degrees in Philadelphia. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see temperatures soaring into potentially as high as 102 degrees. So we're looking at breaking record high temperatures over the next couple of afternoons. We could even break that record high temperature on Wednesday of 98 degrees. We're going for a high temp of 99. The last time we had temperatures in the triple digits here in Philly was back in 2012. So it's been a long time over a decade since we've had heat like what we have out there right now. Now those feels like temperatures today will be around 110 degrees in most places. It's hard to really imagine what that feels like until you actually do. And that's why you need to take a lot of breaks, drink plenty of fluids, even if you're not going to be outside long. Stay hydrated over the next couple of days. Those feels like temperatures tomorrow are still going to be above 100 degrees, 104 on Wednesday. A little relief, a little bit as we get into Thursday, and that's going to come with a chance for some showers and storms. But almost everybody, except for right along the shores, underneath this extreme heat warning, we are not alone with this. Over 170 million Americans underneath this threat for heat across the eastern half of the United States. That dome of high pressure, it will slowly sink to the south, but it is compressing all the air on top of us. It's compressional warming. That's why it's so hot. It'll stay with us until the heat begins to subside through the second half of the week. Quick check on the seven day forecast. I want to note this. I mentioned how it's a cumulative effect. This heat. Look at those overnight lows only dropping down to near 80 degrees over the next couple of nights. So you try to recharge. You try to let your body release some of that heat and then we're right back at it over the next couple of afternoons. There's your chance for showers and storms with the relief from the temperatures later on this week. But with that also watching for those afternoon rain chances, but temperatures more normal as we go into the weekend. Jim, back to you.